Hey, it's Josh Weimar coming to you with a spark today. A small but powerful idea to ignite your life and your leadership. Today's idea is for leaders that want to build greater trust with other people, either one-on-one -on -one or in their organization. The idea comes from Stephen M. R. Covey in his book, The Speed of Trust. And the idea is this. Trust has two components, a personal and a professional. It's made up of both character and competence. Now, you know this is true, uh, I'm sure, because you've seen people that have one or the other, and so you don't really trust them. Maybe the person in your organization that is so nice, they're so great to work with, but honestly, they don't get the job done. You don't trust them to follow through on the things that they said they're going to do. Or on the other hand, you've got someone who's uh, really good at their job, but they're terrible to work with. And so, honestly, you don't really trust them either. You have to work with them, but not somebody that you really want to trust. For us to build trust, we have to have both of those dimensions, the personal and professional, the character and the competence. Trust is not just about your personal integrity, it also has a professional dimension. Stephen uh, M. R. Covey gives a good example of this in his own book. He talks about his relationship with his wife, which they've got a great relationship. She trusts him uh, in so many areas because of his integrity and because of his competence. But when it came time for her to have surgery, she didn't trust him to do that. Why? Well, because he's not a trained surgeon. It wouldn't make sense for him to do that. And so the, the takeaway for us as leaders is pretty simple. If you, if you see a trust gap in one of your relationships, you have to ask yourself two questions. Number one, have I demonstrated the kind of character that I need to demonstrate to earn their trust? Have I uh, acted with honesty and, and integrity? Have I followed through on the things I said I was going to do? Is it clear that I have their best interests at heart? And secondly, have I demonstrated the competence I need to? Do I have the skills and experience in this area for them to trust me? When you have both of those dimensions, the character and the competence, the personal and professional, people will follow you into places they've never been before because they trust that you're leading them there from good intentions and you have the competence to lead them where they need to go. So that's my challenge for you today. Ask yourself those two questions. Be super honest with yourself and, and honestly ask other people who will be honest with you about those areas. If you've earned trust in those areas and if not, what you need to do to earn that trust back. I hope this idea is useful for you today. If it is, share it with your friends and coworkers. Leave a comment below telling me how you used it. Go out and build trust today.